The R0 is an important indicator to take into consideration when trying to understand how an epidemic is evolving because it represents the number of people on average that someone infected with the virus will contaminate. But it has the major flaw of not taking into consideration, for instance, super spreaders. So how has the R0 evolved through time? Well, let's take the example of France. On March 15th, 2020, before any social distancing measures or the lockdown were put in place, the R0 was estimated at 2.8. In the middle of the lockdown in May, it went down to 0.8, and by the end of it, to 0.73. And when it's under the ratio of one, that's when epidemiologists consider that the epidemic is under control. But by June, that curve actually went back up, hitting a, a peak mid-August at 1.5. Today, the r naught has gone down in France to 1.07, yet sanitary authorities seem more alarming today than they were this summer. So why is that? Well, they say that to estimate this r naught, they they're looking at more indicators. So they're still looking at the number of positive tests to COVID-19 and the number of people who are going into the ER with suspected cases of COVID-19, but they're also looking at hospital uh, hospitalizations. And two of these indicators out of three are uh, on the rise today in France. That said, the r naught is important, but you need to take into consideration the incidence rate, the number of positive tests to COVID-19, and also the occupancy rate of beds in the ER.